A good lab to do to determine why cells are small and not large is to take cubes made of auger. Uh, in them they have phenylphthalein and a little bit of sodium hydroxide. So the phenylphthalein is a pH indicator. The sodium hydroxide changes, um, you know, reacts with the pH indicator, makes the cubes of auger a bright um, red. And uh, basically you can cut the cubes into three sizes. You can cut them into, the larger one is a 2.5 uh, centimeter cube. The middle one is a 1.5 a centimeter cube and the smaller one is about a centimeter size cube. You can then take these little cubes and put them into cups uh, that are filled with dilute hydrochloric acid. You can then wait uh, a number of minutes and you can watch how the fusion uh, diffuses through a cell membrane um, and you can calculate, you can use these to calculate the rate of the fusion uh, thereby you know, uh, understanding why cells are small and not large. So here we have all three cubes in cups, uh, and inside the cups is dilute acid. The acid is uh, interacting with the phenylphthalein to um, take the color out of the auger as it diffuses across the membranes. Um, you can see the three, the three cubes um, you can, and then you can watch the diffusion actually occur right uh, in front of your eyes. This is at uh, about 30 seconds after I drop the cubes into the solutions and we'll take a look back in about a minute. About two minutes into the experiment you can see that the smaller cube is uh, there's only a small part that is still colored and the larger cube still has a huge mass in the center that uh, still has the um, phenylphthalein indicator in it uh, stained pink. So um, you can see the fusion actually occurring much rapidly, much more rapidly in the smaller cube than in the larger cube. We'll revisit this in a few more minutes. At about five minutes into the experiment, you can see that the smaller cube uh, the acid has almost diffused completely through the smaller cube, whereas in the medium cube it's about a quarter of the way through, and in the large cube the acid has diffused very little. So this lab demonstrates how why cells are small. Um, the diffusion rate remains constant. So in smaller cells, solutions or not solutions, but the the diffusion. Um, the diffusion of nutrients can actually occur um, much more rapidly to get to all parts of a small cell. Oxygen can diffuse more uh, quickly. Carbon dioxide uh, can get out of a cell much more quickly um, if it's smaller. So here are the cubes after about six minutes in the acid solution. In the smaller cube, you can see that the acid has diffused through most of the cell or most of the cube already. In the medium cube, the solution has diffused through about half of the cell. And in the larger cube, you can see that a majority of the unstained or un, uh, you know, the unacidified uh, phenylphthalein auger is uh, still pink in the center. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a, a scalpel and cut these open and I'll show you what they look like um, opened up. When they're opened, you can actually have students measure uh, how far diffusion has gone. You can have students measure the uh, volume of the cube, the surface area of the cube, and figure out the diffusion rate um, per millimeter by how, far the, um, by how far the acid has diffused through the cube. So here are those cubes cut in half, and you can see the larger cube still has a, a vast majority of it um, as being unstained, unaltered by, the, unaltered by the acid. The medium cube is about, uh, the fusion went about halfway through, and in the smaller cube there's just a tiny little speck of the original um, color of the um, basic uh, auger. All the, the clear auger is the, the auger that's clear, uh, has acid in it, so it has a lower pH. The 
the auger that's in the center that stains pink has a higher pH. The, remember the auger was made with uh, sodium hydroxide and the pH indicator mixed with it was phenylphthalein and we can use acid uh, to show diffusion um, through cells, a small cell, a medium cell, and a large cell. In the small cell, diffusion has occurred, has gone, you know, almost completely, the diffusion of the acid has gone almost completely through the cell, thereby showing that, you know, the advantage of smaller cells.